So I made a series of videos already, um, actually several videos about the placement of the North Node in Scorpio, um, because I'm really interested in this particular placement as it's opposite my own North Node and South Node placement. Um, my South Node being in Scorpio, North Node in Taurus. Now, something else that I want to discuss with this, um, I have a couple other videos about it. Um, one video about, you know, the official video on the placement, and then um, another video where I'm talking about what I've learned about it. Um, and what I felt inspired to share based off of reading Jen Spiller's Astrology for the Soul. Um, I read her chapter on this particular placement. Um, and when I'm reading through the book, it's not going to be the goal to read section by section and share with you what I've read. Because then that would mean not just being able to just sit and enjoy the book. Uh, however, if the inspiration comes to me and I want to share what I've read, um, then I'll do so, but, um, you know, I'm really trying to draw boundaries when it comes to reading and learning information just for the sake of learning, um, versus using it for something, using it for videos and things like that. So, um, one of the huge important things with the North Node in Scorpio placement, as this is where the person um, needs to head and with this person with this placement must balance um, and integrate um, in this lifetime for um, happiness, fulfillment, um, and inner peace, and that their life has a sense of meaning and one of those um, huge things, one, one of the huge bullet points, is letting go. I'll be able to let go once I adjust something on my bed. Okay. Now, letting go, and, and, and how this can come. This can come in so many different ways. This can be letting go of accumulations and possessions that a person with this placement may have a lot of stuff or may feel the need to keep or hold on to a lot of things. When all of those things don't bring them that abundance, that fulfillment, that satisfaction, instead, deep down, they, these possessions bog them down and keep them from tapping into real abundance. And that comes from letting go. So they are moving towards tapping into the flow of abundance of how when you release certain things that you no longer need, you can allow new things in, new energy in more abundance and happiness in. And this is not going to come from holding tight because all suffering leads to attachment. Um, and when they can understand this and when they can feel that really positive 
feeling of feeling free, of, of, of just putting that backpack down, which is super heavy, weighing them down, or emptying things out of it, the things that they no longer need, then they can feel, um, you know, better about their lives and the direction that they're going, and they might actually be surprised that it is in the releasing that um, they experience that gratitude and that, um, you know, that sense of um, wealth, you know, inner wealth that they are looking for. Um, so this can be accumulation. This can be, I haven't worn these pair of pants in this long, so there is this need to hold on because um, in, in previous lifetimes, if that's something that you, um, you know, believe in, I question whether I'm on the same side of that, but um, they have a very strong work ethic. And working hard, the value of hard work, is something that's very familiar to them. And, you know, they work so hard for something that it's this energy that um, they don't want to let it go. And so it's important for them to recognize what objects really are their pride and joy and what is an excess, what is unneeded, and what they should probably get rid of if they truly want to feel satisfied because accumulating so many different things, you know, there's this feeling of greed. There's this feeling of, oh, this is not going to be enough. So I might as well keep accumulating. Maybe once they find a situation where they do have enough, then, um, you know, then there's constantly something that they think about or something that comes up where they may need more, where it's just not enough. Um, one of the things that Jan Spiller in her book was talking about is tapping into the energy of gratitude for what you have already and not that, you know, oh, I don't have enough, but to be in that state of gratitude for what you already have, that way you can attract more. I think for them to tap into the spiritual energy of the law of attraction and how energy works and cycles from, um, you know, you giving energy and exchanging energy to somebody else and then giving it back. It's the cycle back and forth, give and receive. That um, would be super vital for them to learn about. So, um, you know, this is coming from um, Jan in what she writes in the book. Um, about you receiving something and you having something and then you giving that energy back. This could be, you know, your appreciation for this thing, but, you know, it's this flowing of energy um, that, you know, is important for them to learn about. Um, and, you know, it's important that, you know, we don't say, oh, you must you know, bond with others, you know, oh, you must get along with other people, or you must share, um, you know, it would be good for them to share their resources, to tap into this flow if they feel limited, stuck in a rut, like this is bogging them down, because it's so easy for them to stick to their ways of, you know, what they have, that they want to keep what they have, that they, you know, possess what they have, you know, my things, your things, instead of that exchange, instead of that bonding, instead of that, um, you know, that giving over here and the Scorpio energy of change and release, which is really that secret, um, weapon, that secret key that they need to unlock, 
that's just sort of waiting in the wings for them. And, you know, it lies in that releasing, it lies in the change, the letting go. Um, you know, that's really the missing piece here. The, you know, the North Node indicates what's the missing piece. We, um, you know, what am I missing? I have, I know all these things in my stuff that I've done all these things, all these talents, but then I'm missing something here. Well, that's what the North Node can help you integrate, bring into your life. And then, and, and, and then you'll feel a sense of wholeness, a sense of, um, that your life is like a puzzle, like a, you know, you know not the puzzle pieces separate, but the puzzle put together. So, you know, the dots connected, that kind of feeling. Um, now, other things that they may need to let go of is um, ideas, potentially beliefs, um, ways of doing things is another thing. Um, and an aspect of this, if this resonates and if this feels right, and this is where some of the more deep, aspects of Scorpio can be taken away, and this is where I start to lose what Taurus South Nodes really want, as opposed to them having to move in the direction of Scorpio, and it's really what they want at a soul level, um, is deep down tapping into the energy of Scorpio can help them evolve the Taurus South Node. Because they're getting caught in the shadow sides of the Taurus sign. And all signs evolve through the opposite sign. And that's what the North Node can teach you. So they can heal that Taurus energy through tapping into the Scorpio side of things. So another thing that they may need to let go of is ways of doing things. Um, ideas that they have. Values that they have that while they feel they work, that they're right, again, you know, they're limiting. They bog them down. They feel stuck and they want to experience fresh energy change. Um, and they want to experience bonding relationships and merging your energy, your power with another person and receiving that energy. Because deep down, transformation is what they are craving. And when they can surrender their um, limiting values and always having to do things their way all the time, and if they can say, okay, well, here's my way, and this is what works for me, but what about what works for you? And what about... If you're, you know, open on an emotional, spiritual level to trying this new way of doing things and see how it works for their life, this is something, again, fresh and new um, for them to sort of, um, you know, change and be in a, a flowing state of receptivity. So, um, you know, we're this way... Could it be easier? Could it be quicker? Could it be more rewarding? Could it kill two birds with one stone? Um, could it provide an opportunity that was not in place with this way of doing things? Um, and so anything energy um, from the divine, from spirit, or from um, other people, um, you know, without going into an atheistic, non-spiritual viewpoint of this placement, um, a huge part of the book, I will have to admit, Jan Spiller was talking about just reiterating, um, you know, being open to, um, other people. Um, it's about surrendering, always having to do it yourself. And that it's not about working so hard in this lifetime and, you know, you know, keeping that, you know, hamster wheel up. 
Um, it's not about, you know, pressing on and, and continuing to be so stuck, so rigid, so tight. Instead, loosen up, open up, surrender that need for things to be the same, for things to be secure, for things to be the way that they've always been, to provide that sameness, that security, because that security can, it, you know, there's a new sense of security and inner security that is not based around the old ways of doing things and the things that you have, the things that you possess. But there is a new kind of security that she was talking about in the book. So when you can just relax, when you can get, let go of those strings, when you can open, when you can tap into another energy, which is humility, and when you can just allow, you know, give your practical advice, give, you know, do things, you know, the way that you're used to doing them, yes, and, you know, you come in with a gift of you're able to take care of yourself, you're able to be very self-sufficient, you know how to, you know, make money, you know, accumulate, do, you know, do all these hard work to achieve what you want, especially if it's to make yourself feel comfortable, you know, looks good, tastes good, you know, you know, on the sensory level, but to keep, you know, doing the same things over again in terms of engaging in those pleasures too much is too much. That's one thing. And, you know, let go what is too much. Um, and it's also about being in that flowing state of openness of, you know, that you're allowing this person in, that you're allowing this energy, this idea in this new thing in, and you're allowing it also to leave and you're okay with maybe giving up what you know doesn't work for you anymore. Um, so, um, yeah. So that's ultimately, you know, you know what this comes down to is it's about, you know, receiving the gifts from spirit from the universe that is being provided only if your door is open, only if you're in a state of allowing. Um, yeah, so knowing there's new opportunities, there's new chapters that can be written when new ones close. And there is new opportunities, there's so much gained through that loss in terms of spiritual gain. May not be material gain, but how does it feel on a soul level? How does it feel on a level of spirit? Um, and so that's another thing that I was reading about. So that is the video here about um, letting go. Because that's, you know, really the high road of Scorpio. That north node can really point to the high road of Scorpio. And, um, you know, if you, if this, if a person who has this placement um, has a lot of Taurus in their natal chart, and this is really an area of the south node which they're working on healing the shadow sides of this um, through Scorpio. Because um, I want to rewrite, you're not trying to move away from your south node, completely abandon it, move into your north node. It is trying to heal, trying to um, do the high version, the higher version of the south node that can come through while looking to the opposite sign to heal that, to mend that, to evolve that. Um, yeah, you're not trying to abandon it. So that's just a new way of looking at it. But um, anyway, that is my video on this particular placement in terms of the aspect of it that is about letting go. Bye for now.